live with Dragon. Welcome back to another video. Scooting up. This video topic, okay, is about my experience training clients in person versus the online experience. And, you know, a little bit more about what I'm seeing from an execution standpoint difference. And I just want to align with everybody that when I was initially injured, March, April, right, I had to forego all in-person training for pretty much all of 20, yeah, 2023. Yep. And I started again, 2024. So I only really got my first in-person back related lower, well, full on disc herniation this year. Now, I've been working with clients online, obviously, since April and March of last year, but I'm only getting, I guess, a small view, scope, if you will, through video analysis with these clients. And one of the reoccurring things, themes, rather, that I'm seeing here is small, minor changes in execution can be tremendous in terms of progress and also eliminating potential flare related symptoms case in point okay now i'm not saying that the online space is worse than the in-person space it's more about noticing that they're when you're physically present you can see a 360 view of the client now for you of those that are watching this right and you're doing a program. It could be the perfect program for you. It's well-written, it's got great volume, it's cueing on the exact things that there's an imbalance on. My suggestion to you is like, how do you overcome these things, okay? You overcome these things by being extremely slow and diligent with the execution process of whatever the recommended exercises is without getting into this whole sphere of, Oh, I want to pump or I want to continue to grow or I want to get my muscle back. That is going to happen with time, inevitably, okay? The more you train, the more food goes in, hopefully the better the sleep gets with the pain levels going down, so on and so forth. So my eye-opening experience with my client in person is, you know, small pelvic changes, core bracing, specifically on movements that don't necessarily correlate to just core specific, right? Has massive carryover effect into his symptoms and how he feels throughout the week, okay? So for obviously, if I can't be there with you in person, my suggestion is go slow, continue to record from different angles, okay? So obviously the more that I can see or somebody who's assisting you can see the better if you're working with another physical therapist or somebody that specializes in lower back health, any of those things. And understand that if you can just execute the baseline biomechanics of a movement, that sometimes is enough stimulus to get you to where you need to go to where you're feeling good. And if you are in pain, trust me, you don't really care about muscle. I know I didn't. I didn't care about any muscle. I went from 260, 270 to 218. I was like, I just don't want to be in pain anymore, right? And then now that I'm in a position where I'm not in any pain, I'm ready to put on muscle. So conversely, I guess in a cool way, my execution over the last eight or nine months, 10 months, has gone up tremendously. So now when I do these loaded movements, I can connect to the muscle and not get any joint pain, whether it's knees, whether it's lower back, shoulders, any of that stuff. I can auto-regulate well enough to either shut something down, reduce the total weight, or just reduce the volume in totality, and I don't get these terrible flare-up symptoms. So what you can take out of this video is, like I said, number one, Record for multiple angles. Number two, are you using a lot of different muscle groups to complete single muscle group exercises chain? So for example, if I'm doing a hamstring curl, am I using my lower back just because I can do more weight? That might be picking the scab, and then by picking the scab, might flare your symptoms. And if you can't, if you flare your symptoms, you're probably not gonna be training for the rest of the week. So go lighter than you typically would. Establish a really good baseline of what feels good, what causes a good stimulus, and do not progress until you've held that stimulus for maybe two to three weeks. 
then you can think about scaling upwards. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, obviously, I will reply to those things in the comments section. Dragon, ouse!